I believe teaching theology is important and learning theology is important. Theology is the study of God. A lot of people don't know what they really believe. We believe that pastors should be trained in Bible, pastors should be trained in systematic theology of what we really believe, the content, and they also need pastoral practical skills of ministry, preaching, pastoral care, missions, Christian education, evangelism. So our degree programs have three areas of study, biblical studies, theological studies, and practical professional ministry studies. It's important for pastors to have the skills. As I said in the platform today, the, a good doctor needs to go through medical school. A good dentist needs to go through dental school. We believe that a good minister needs to go through some kind of theological education, uh, and if, it, if at all possible, some kind of formal education. There are exceptions. There are people called and trained in some other way, which is perfectly fine. But the new century requires educated, trained ministers of the gospel. It's important not only for ministers, it's also for Christians, believers, because there is so much counterfeit theology around. There is so much false teaching that sounds attractive. So unless you study Bible, unless you study what we believe, you could go with every wind of doctrine. And in your own country, I know that there are some things being taught that are really unbalanced. So it is important to keep a balance of what you believe, a balance of what the Bible really teaches. And so theological education is important for not only ministers who are going to go into full-time preaching ministry, but also to believers who live their lives as Christians. But first of all, truth, the, the, to knowing the truth. Secondly, ministering to others. See, ministry is not only for pastors. God has called all of us to be disciples of Jesus Christ. The highest level of discipleship is able, being able to minister to others. So uh, ministry training is important for all believers because we are supposed to be incarnational ministers, doing ministry at our work, at our school, at our business. To do that, you need some kind of orientation, some kind of training, some kind of ministry. So we believe that training in theology is needed not only for ministers, but also for believers. And it has personally helped me, coming from a science background, I needed to know what the truth is. I needed to know what does the Bible teach about this and then also making decisions. You have to make a decision about marriage, you have to decide about family, you have to decide about careers. Uh, this kind of training will give you a way to discern God's will for your life. So you are not going to be necessarily an ordained minister, but to me every believer is called to ministry. It has been a joy for us to be here. My wife and I enjoyed being here. The church took good care of us. I met Pastor Howe and Pastor Leah. Uh, they are amazing leaders. We saw that they are servant leaders and, uh, and we have been blessed by just seeing them. We also saw how they released uh, authority to their associates, other leaders, and trusted them. So we had a very positive impression about them as people who care about the body of Christ, but also as people training a new generation. I would say this church is a healthy church. There are sick, dysfunctional churches in this world. There are also healthy churches. In, from everything I know about ministry and church, I, what I saw here is health, healthy church, by, by the following uh, criteria. One, it's a word-centered church, you preach the word. Two, there is an emphasis on community, caring for one another. Third, there is an emphasis on learning. I don't know any other church that gives this much emphasis to uh, academic excellence. And I, I saw the newspaper article that, that came out about your church. How many churches are known for excellence in academics? So that's a unique thing too. And also a healthy church is a church with missions, a global vision. And a healthy church has true spiritual worship. So as a theological person, I can say this is truly a healthy church because what I have seen, 
are, are these things that are functioning in a healthy way. I don't say that in every church I visit. We get to go to different parts of the world. We preach in different continents. We get to train people from all over the world. In fact, OVRU has students from 83 countries and we have been to a number of them. But this church I noticed is a healthy church because of the reasons I mentioned. And it's important. I pray that the church will remain that way. I can see the growth. And I can see people are going to line up and, and will be coming in. And you may have to have more services and, and uh, to meet the needs because you are doing something right as a new concept too. I notice there's a paradigm shift here. In many churches, youth will be tomorrow's church. They'll have good youth ministry. Here, youth owns the church. Youth runs the church under supervision. They have pastoral supervision. They have leadership. But... They, have, they are released to minister, they are released to sing, they are released to preach, they are released to teach the Bible. This is health. I'm telling you, if it is sick, I'll tell you this body is sick. <laughs> this is a healthy church and we are glad to be connected with it. This is our first visit to your church. We have been blessed by being here and seeing what God is doing. I've been blessed by being here with my wife. And we have enjoyed worshiping with you and preaching the Word of God. I spend a, a number of hours teaching uh, your leaders a particular course called Advanced Pastoral Care. I was so impressed with their eagerness to learn, the leadership they exercise, and the love and care these leaders have for you. You have found a healthy church, and I want to encourage you to continue to walk with God. I've been fortunate to know all Roberts and was touched by his life and ministry. I want to encourage you, be touched by your pastors, your leaders, and keep your hearts open to God, and always say to God that you want to follow Him. Follow God, follow God's purposes for your life, you will be blessed. What a privilege it is to be in a church that cares for you. What a privilege it is to be in a church where there are leaders who are for you and want to bless you. So I wish you God's very best. And I pray in the days ahead, the ministries of the church will expand. I pray that you will receive more training for your own ministry. Many of you will not be pastors, but you have businesses, you are professionals, you are going to be engaged in various professional work. Take Jesus with you and take the Holy Spirit with you and move in the power of the Holy Spirit in your schools, in your professions and glorify God with your life. So I appreciate the chance to be a part of the church this week and particularly this weekend. And I wish you God's very best in the years ahead. Thank you.